Bonita. What up? It's your boy T-Bear in reaction to Asian Wrestling Wednesday. I'm T-Bear. You got my little, little tattoo partner TJ's right here. And we're going to check out. So it's like I said, this past weekend, we really this not only one return, but two returns. That is seeing Paul late, but the main main return we, we knew was going to happen was the one and only the Viper, a.k.a. the Apex Predator, the one and only Randy Orton. And what a perfect time to make his return as some of the Survivor Series. And he is... And known as Mr. Survivor Series as well, too. You know, as Shawn Michaels was known as Mr. WrestleMania, Edwards was known as Mr. Survivor Series. So, this is from Wrestling Premiere, I think it is, or Wrestle Biology. Either you want to find out why Ray Orton is known as Mr. Survivor Series. Let's get it. Make a video about Randy Orton as Survivor Series. <laughs> okay. The Viper, the Wrestling Apex Premier. Predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has an incredible history as Survivor Series, a history that rivals none. Orton's come up as privileged. Very few wrestlers have such a great introduction as he did. The game Triple H backed him and created a faction known as Evolution. Mm -hmm. Evolution's sole goal was to ensure Triple H was champion, but outside the ring, it was about developing the future of the WWE. Yep. Orton's Survivor Series debut is an immediate memorable one. This man dropped Mark Cuban, the Dallas Mavericks mm -hmm. owner of oh, the yeah, RKO, yeah, yeah. and featured in one of the greatest Survivor Series matches ever. Shawn Michaels' performance deserves its own documentary or something because it was that damn good. Yep. He played the perfect babyface role and showed everyone how to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Team Stoke over C Race. That was definitely HBK's best moment. But He's booked to make this comeback. He makes his comeback, and it wasn't entirely his talent that helped him get to the very end, but some luck. And Orin, in this case, was mm -hmm. at the right place at the right time with Batista's interference. He won, but few realized this was the start of a historic run for Randy Orton as it relates to Survivor Series. Fresh off being kicked out of Evolution, mm -hmm. Randy Orton had quite the 2004. His year from the last Survivor Series to the next was filled with plenty of memorable moments yep. that elevated Orin from a young upstart to a surefire main eventer. At this point, he was a babyface, a role mm -hmm. many felt he was wrongly casted as. Orton led a team of Jericho, Benoit, and yep. Maven. The fact that Maven was in a WWE pay-per-view main event is strange. It's really out there, but I'm sure he enjoyed the five-figure payday. Nice. Orton used the Survivor Series experience to steer clear of the heels. Mm -hmm. Two-on-one, he was stuck, and for the first time, yep. officially beat Triple H clean in the middle of the rink. It seemed like a sign of what's to come, and for a short time... Orton as a babyface was on top of the world. Mm -hmm. That didn't last too long though. Yet another amazing match and an amazing performance for the legend killer. This time around, Orton was oh. in a position he wasn't supposed to be. And amidst his feud with The Undertaker, the legend killer was out to kill the dead man's legend. Yep. In his eyes, he succeeded. With Survivor Series coming up, Orton failed to qualify for Team SmackDown. Unfortunately, Eddie Guerrero passed away during this time and Orton replaced him. SmackDown vs. Raw at Survivor Series 2005 was, in my eyes, a match that's underappreciated. I would even go as far as to say that it was one of the best Survivor Series I've It was. Remember, they had the backstage... I think was, this might be one of the first time they did do, like, the brand versus brand, um... Uh, Survivor Street match as well too. Remember the brawl they used to have backstage against Team Raw and Team SmackDown it used to be it used to be fire, y'all. Elimination matches, and that all stems from the incredible build just exploding over this match. The match followed up on the build in many ways, even the post-match segment. But for Orin, he was becoming a seasoned veteran inside these elimination matches. He was rolling different here, slithering like a snake and capitalizing on a couple of occasions. And this we start, oh, this must be start doing a little, little, little stance for the all KO. Took advantage of HVK to win the match for SmackDown. Soul Survivor the third year in a row. I like mm -hmm. this. WWE is starting to realize, hey, Randy Orton's been looking good at Survivor Series. Let's continue that. And mm -hmm. each performance up to this point was different. A unexperienced rookie whose ambitions didn't really match reality and had to be saved by his own partner. Second, a wronged man looking to right his own mistakes and take out his biggest supporter turned rival. And the third, a experienced man choosing the right moments to take advantage. Mm -hmm. 
then The Undertaker came out. We don't talk about 2006 here. Reestablishing Randy Orton was one of WWE's most important objectives in 2007. It was clear he was on his way to becoming a long-time main eventer, but they felt he needed to become more calculated and sadistic. Enter The Viper. Now you guys know Orton's insane. He punts people, takes them out, and the latter was what he did best. Matter of fact, taking out John Cena won him the WWE Championship, and he didn't even get the for that title. He still had the old Let's Get a Look, but he was heading slowly to The Viper with this... With the, with and the Orton was activity. proclaiming it to be the age of Orton. Shawn Michaels, though, had a huge problem. A problem from five months ago, and after a failed title challenge involving Orton disqualifying himself, a rematch was made for Survivor Series. But the switch in music was banned. This led to a technical battle which was built on Michaels being forced to adapt. The crossface was used for the first time since the Chris Benoit thing, and Orton, despite his strong advantage, was prone to errors. Nonetheless, HBK realizing his mistake of attempting a switch in music allowed for Orin to hop in and drop him with the RKO to retain the title. When I saw this RKO while making this video, oh mm. my god, I forgot just how good it was. It just comes from out of nowhere. This we started, this we started, yeah, this we started doing the out of nerd one. This wasn't when he used to jump extra high. This we started trying to take it down a little lower and just do not know where to make more like more swift with it. Shows you why. The RKO is one of the most popular moves, one of the most loved moves in wrestling history. It was very different to the main events at the time. It felt more strategic with the no switch in music rule. And Orin looked great in here, as did HBK. Shawn Michaels is Mr. WrestleMania, whereas mm-hmm. Orin's Mr. Survivor Series. Nope. Orin in 2008 was booked to realize he thrives in groups, but never before did he have the chance to completely leave. Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase he shared similarities with Orin being multi-generational wrestlers. And upon his return from a motorcycle accident, Orin went all in and building the legacy. Batista was a big roadblock early on, mm-hmm. though, in his pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship. Did you start getting a sleeve? The animal who was once champion a couple of weeks earlier. Plus, with his evolution ties, it was almost a personal feud. The match was decent and Survivor Series, but pilled in comparison to others. Orin developed mm-hmm. a main streak with Rhodes by his side and showed that very intelligence he was known for at the time. Batista was outnumbered, and while he did put in the work to dismantle the heels, it was far too much in the end with Orin using Cody Rhodes mm-hmm. to tag in and hit the RKO yep. to win the match. Mm-hmm. Yet another Survivor Series victory for the Viper, and it kind of uh, slowed down a bit here. 2010 was a standout year for Randy Orton. At the time, he moved forward from his new character that set him back on track to dominate the WWE. This time around, Orton was stone cold like babyface with the same character traits as his Mm -hmm. heel run. Finally won the title as a babyface and was on an upward trajectory as this good guy that nobody foresaw a year ago. Mm-hmm. At the same time emerged the Nexus. Yeah, Nexus Barrett yeah. left him by a tear, leaving a trail of destruction behind them. And it didn't take too long for Barrett to set his sights on the WWE Championship mm-hmm. held by the Viper. John Cena, a member of the new Oh Nexus yeah, this match. I think it was this match. In a controversial yep. situation. Barrett wins, his enemy is champion, and Cena is out of Nexus. But if he counts the fall for Orton, mm-hmm. John Cena himself is gone. He is fired. The match here is one of Orin's weakest at Survivor Series. It was very average, and the story was centered around John Cena and the Nexus. True. Cena did what he did to keep the integrity of the WWE Championship and pinned the fall for Randy Orton to retain the title. Not the best match, but yet another mm-hmm. successful defense for Orin at Survivor Series. It had been a while since Orin was a heel. He emerged as the authority's golden mm-hmm. boy at SummerSlam, and from there was positioned in storyline as the face of WWE. The corporation's storyline was used as inspiration, except the heels didn't get their comeuppance very often. Big Shaw of all people is the first one to strike and hit them where it hurts mm-hmm. with a KO on Triple H. It's strange yep. to say, but Big Show got a title shot at Survivor Series against Orin, and what everyone expected happened. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a good match, nor was it a good oh, pay-per-view. Yeah. But hey, at least he used a punt to retain the title. Other than that, this match wasn't memorable, and that paper. Yeah, this is what this is the one they was like saying. Please, this is one. This is like around time, like though they use when they down period around time. One really talks about it for good reason because very underwhelming. I don't even think it was underwhelming. It was just disappointing from the beginning. The build wasn't the best. The show itself, and of course the main event. So there's that. 2016 was a very noteworthy mm-hmm. year for WWE. They brought back the brand split and went to the past yep. for inspiration. With Survivor Series coming, SmackDown vs. Raw was back yep. for the first time in 11 years. Randy Orton returned just in time mm-hmm. after being away with the injury. Team and at this the point, Wyatt's he was seen as an experienced RP, veteran. Bo, Luke, and, almost um, like a wrestler Bright. from a previous era. Orton was a part of Team SmackDown at a point where he aligned with the Wyatt mm-hmm. family. Or infiltrated the faction, but had yet to be revealed. SmackDown vs. Raw as Survivor Series was incredible. Mm-hmm. All of these stories came together and intensified. It's one of the best matches WWE had in 2016. Oh, yeah, one mm-hmm. of the best the matches shield. from the 10s. If I had to list it, it's probably top 10 matches from the 10s. It just has to be because of the action, the drama, everything about that match mm-hmm. was something special, and WWE has yet to replicate that Survivor Series match to this very day. 
Orton's story was about trust. He wanted Bray Wyatt to trust him, and during the match, mm -hmm. he capitalized on moments and helped stack the deck against Roman right. Reigns. It was a tough task, and Orton at one point had to sacrifice himself to save Bray Wyatt, which led mm -hmm. to Team SmackDown's win. Yep. This added to the trust with Bray Wyatt, and for Randy Orton, this was another mm -hmm. classic Survivor Series match. Was the MVP of the match? Doubtful. But he played a big part in scoring the True, victory so for his own team make mix and added Survivor to the Survivor Series. Series legacy. Randy Orton had just come off an incredible 2020, 2020. So for 2021, he took things slow. They were calm with him and attacked mm -hmm. him with a bad riddle opened way for the fans to see a different yes. side of the Viper. Orton was never a lengthy tag team guy, but it added a whole lot more to his career mm -hmm. teaming up with Matt Riddle. We've seen how he is in singles matches, but for some reason he excelled yes. and was at his best as a tag team guy. Orton with a hot tag was incredible. Mm -hmm. There was this fire, this motivation about him with Matt Riddle that we didn't see very often. Ah, it's, it's a shame we won't, get, we won't get that kind of thing going on anymore because, you know, Riddle's gone, so yeah. It was reignited the previous year but it was intensified here. His tag mm -hmm. team with Riddle brought him the Raw Tag Team Championships, and they faced mm -hmm. the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos, as Survivor Series. They were given a lot of time despite oh, the lack of... Oh, this where he's going to be a SmackDown, so Jimmy, you better run. <laughs> between both teams, it served as a nice first match between them, because mm -hmm. as we know, they ended up having some great matches later on. Yeah. Warren hit a beautiful RKO to score the victory for yes. Team Raw, and once again, it's another victory for him as Survivor Series. But it was a pretty good match. It was one of the best matches in the show, a show which I believe was disappointing. I personally don't remember. I obviously made a video on it, but I don't remember much about it, but I definitely do remember enjoying this yes. match. It was very fun. So that's Orin as Survivor Series. Now, there's obviously a lot of other performances he had where he didn't win. 2009 comes to mind. Oh, Orin yeah. beat the hell out of Kofi oh, Kingston. Yeah. Had a two-on-one advantage with CM Punk, only mm -hmm. to end up losing after Punk was eliminated yep. not 10 seconds earlier. 2011, another performance. Orin mm -hmm. fought against Team yeah. Barrett, and yep. at the very end, but fell short to Rhodes mm. and Wade Barrett. They were trying to make Wade Barrett a star at this point. Mm -hmm. Someone took Kofi Kingston and beating Orton in his own game at Survivor Series mm -hmm. was a way of showing, hey, we want to invest in Wade Barrett. We want this guy to be a big heel in the future. Mm -hmm. Same thing in 2012, 2012. Yep. Dolph Ziggler was the one being pushed with the money in the bank yep. briefcase. They were having to win a lot of matches. Feuding with Orton. And again, he beat Orton at his own game. Oh, yeah. Survivor Series. Orton was the last man standing here. <laughs> similar to the previous one, mm -hmm. and he had to do the job for Dolph Ziggler. 2017, mm -hmm. Orton didn't do much here. 19, yes. there was a moment with a lot of RKO's, but his team ended up losing mm. and he was eliminated earlier on. So that's Randy Orton's legacy at Survivor Series. He's probably the greatest wrestler in Survivor Series history. True. He's featured in a lot of matches. All of his matches here, for the most part, were good. Like, almost every match I mentioned here was good, very entertaining mm -hmm. stuff. Even when Orton was on the losing end, a lot of his matches were great. Orton has 16 eliminations throughout his Survivor Series elimination match career. The most. Hold on. I'm sorry, you hearing this. Let's see if the chalk finishes is up. But, yep, here we go. In WWE history, mm -hmm. who knows? Maybe he might add it in the future. We'll see. Well, he cemented his. He did, he did um, do the thing on, as far as Civil War games, so, yep. Place in WWE history, and his Survivor Series run only adds to that. He's obviously going to be considered one of the best regardless of this Survivor Series run. And it's a nice little thing, you know? Brock Lesnar and Hulk Hogan have SummerSlam, and Randy Orton has Survivor Series. So, yeah. All right, what'd you guys think of Randy Orton as Survivor Ooh, Series? Well, I thought about that Brock having a SummerSlam man and Hogan, too. Wow. But other than that, this was a good video, though, I mean? And we can add on to it now because this was made before the uh, Survivor Series War game. So, other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Person. I know. Stay tuned. And hopefully... If he's okay, I get another video about Orton. Well, let's get it. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.